This video is going to be all about placing views on sheets in Revit. I'm going to be showing you how to place one view on a sheet, then how to place multiple views on a sheet at once, how to align those views either on one single sheet or across multiple sheets. Then we're going to be talking about how to rotate those views, how to lock their position, and also how to modify them on a sheet. And finally, I'm going to be showing you how to split a single view across multiple sheets. Let's go. Now, if you're serious about learning Revit, I would like to encourage you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. There you can find all of my Revit courses where I take the extra time to go slowly, step by step and explore all of the interesting and complex topics inside of Revit. So now without any further ado, let's jump straight into your Revit. To place a view on a sheet, what you want to do is go to your project browser, scroll down and find your sheets and open up one of the sheets. Now I can scroll up again on the project browser, find the view that I want to place, click, hold and drag it over and then just basically click here to place it in, in, in its position. Now if I zoom in, you're going to notice that here we have this title and a line. Now if you want to change that, you can simply select the view itself, go to the properties panel and then here just by selecting the type, you can go with no title, title only or title with line. Now in this case, I actually want to have both the title and line, so I'm just going to select that. If you want to move this title line, you can click away to deselect the view, come back and just hover over the line and then click and drag just to reposition it somewhere else. Now, once you have placed this view on a sheet, what you'll notice in the project browser is that basically we have this uh, uh, white square, which has now lit up in blue, indicating that this view has been placed on a sheet. Now, what this means is that if you want to place this view on a different sheet, Revit is not really going to allow that. Now, you can actually override this by going here to cancel, and then what you can do is go back to that view, right click and go to duplicate view. I'm just going to duplicate this one as a dependent. And then what you'll notice is that this duplicated view has that white square, which basically means that this can now be placed on a different sheet. So I can come to this sheet and place this view. So we have basically duplicated the view and placed it on multiple sheets. Now to show you the second method, I have just deleted all of the views from this sheet. And for the second method for placing views on a sheet, what you want to do is go here to the view menu, then go to sheet composition, and then here click on the place view button. This will open up the select view menu. And here you can search through all of the views that we have in this project. You can even use this search bar to basically type something out to find a particular view. In this case, I'm just going to click escape. Now here you can select multiple views or you can select one view. So to select one view, you just click on the view and click OK. Or in this case, because I want multiple ones, you can click once, hold the shift key and then click again. And everything in between those two views on which you have clicked is going to be selected. Alternatively, what I'm going to do here is just select this architecture view that you want to have, hold the control key, and I want to add a couple of elevations just by holding the control key. Now I can click OK, and that's going to bring in these three views like so. Now I can click to place them. Now at any point you can rearrange these views and you can actually align them by moving them. And what you'll notice is when you come to a certain point, it's going to give you that guide just to help you with the alignment of the view. This is going to help align your views on a single sheet. Now what happens if you want to place multiple views across multiple sheets? So for example, let's say here we have level one and we want that to be kind of in the same place on a sheet as the level two is going to be on a different sheet. Well, to do that, what you want to do is just go to the original main sheet, go to sheet composition and click on guide grid. This is going to allow you to create a new guide grid. I'm just going to leave the name as guide grid one and click OK. It's going to look like this. And then what do you want to do is just select kind of the other boundary 
of this guide grid, go to the grid spacing and I like to add a larger number, so something like 100 millimeters and click apply. This will give you a large guide grid and then I like to reduce it so we only get one intersection indicating one important point on this project. Now in this case what I'm going to do is just make it look like this and then I can move it by moving the intersection and placing it on the intersection of these two grid lines. Once I have done this I can simply go to my second sheet so just go here to project browser open up the second floor plan sheet like so. Here I can go to the properties and then down at properties under other you're going to see your guide grid and here you just select that guide grid one hit apply and it's going to give you that one intersection that you need and now when I go back to the project browser and just drag over basically this uh, level two floor plan now I can come in here go to the move tool and just move that intersection of the two grids here and now we're certain that basically the position of this view on this sheet is the same as the position of this view on this sheet so when it's printed out it's going to have the correct composition now once you're done aligning your views on your sheet you can go to your properties panel go to the guide grid and then just turn it to none and it's going to disappear. Now you can also rotate your views so for example in this case let's say I want to align this like so so basically we have the floor plan and then we have this elevation above it but now for this elevation I just want to rotate it so it kind of fits the angle of the building. So for that I can select this view I can go to the properties panel and then here in the properties panel you're going to find rotation on sheet it's set to none now I can go to 90 90 degrees clockwise or in this case this is going to be counterclockwise and now I can place that view like so so it kind of fits the position of that elevation on this sheet. In addition to that you can also pin the sheets in place so if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally move your view on a sheet you can select that view and then you can go to the pin button on the modify tab and then just pin it in place and if you want to unpin it you just click on that in this case I'm just going to leave it pinned in. Finally, when it comes to modifying views on sheets, what you can do is you can select the sheet or the view itself, and then you can go through your properties and, for example, change the scale or something like that. If you want to make broader changes to the model itself, you can zoom in a little bit, double click on that view, and now you can actually select elements and move elements in the model itself. To go back to the sheet uh, editing mode, you just double click outside of that viewport. Finally, let's cover how do we split a single view across multiple sheets. So here I have this large weird building which has these atriums in that look like a circle, a square, and a triangle. Now if I wanted to place this in this current scale on this sheet, I can just drag it over and what you'll notice is it's definitely not going to fit. So how can we solve this issue? Well, I'm just going to escape out of this and then what I'm going to do is come to this view, right click and then go to duplicate. Now I'm going to duplicate it as many times as I want to have segments on different sheets. In this case, I want to split this one into one uh, view for a circle, one view for the square part of the building and then one view for the triangular part of the building. So you want to go here to architectural uh, level one view, go to duplicate and then duplicate as a dependent once, twice and then the third time. And then I'm just going to rename these according to the shapes that are here. So once these are renamed, then I'm just going to come back to the original one. And here you want to go to the view tab, you want to find sheet composition. And then here you're going to find this match line. This just allows you to follow where you split your views. So I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to place one of these match lines here, hit the escape key. And then the second one, it's going to be over here. Again, hit the escape key. Once we have this done, we just hit finish. And this is what that looks like so just a simple dashed line. Now I can go here to the circle one uh, and then just go to your uh, extents. Make sure that they're not limited to a scope box and then you can just come in here. Uh, I'm just going to hit the tab key to select this 
and then I'm just going to grab this circular circle part of the building just like that. So I just want to keep a little bit beyond that match line, not too much. Okay, so this view one is set. Now I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the rest of these views. Now once we have all of these set as kind of uh, cropped views, then what you want to do is you want to open up your sheets. Now in this case, as you can see, I have already named the sheets according to the view that I want to place. And now I can just come here to the circle one, I can place it on this sheet, then I can go to my square one, and I can place the square one on that sheet. And then finally, for the triangle one, I can place the triangle view on that sheet. So essentially, we have just placed the, dep the dependent views and not the original view. And if we go to the original uh, view, open that up. And if we make some changes, so for example, if I place a door here on this triangle, well, if I open up the triangle uh, view, it's going to be there. And also, if I come here to the triangle or triangle sheet, it's going to be there as well. So that's basically how you can split these across multiple views. Now, if you want to get access to this Revit project file or any of my other Revit project files, you can find all of those on my Patreon page. I'm just going to link that up below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above.